I was fighting so hard. And now, I mean, I just let everything go and I like, okay, I'm just doing whatever I do. And you guys, if you want to join me, so join me. If you don't want to join me, so get the fuck off. Hello. How are you? How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Of course. Of (laughs) course. My name is Adam, and uh, this podcast is about you and your journey in music, and we'll uh, talk about the new music as well. Perfect. Sweet, sweet. Um, Awesome. So we always start off by uh, born and raised. Where were you born and raised? Uh, I was born and raised in um, Israel, the mm-hmm. south of Israel, actually. Uh, it's a city called Kiryat Gat, and it's a very small town. And when I was 19, I moved to Tel Aviv. That's the center of Israel. Sure. Yeah. And yeah, and I, I lived there for like, I don't know, probably 15 years until I moved to L.A. Okay. I'm a traveler. Yeah. yeah. And Are now, you in L.A. I mean, now? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I live in LA, but I'm, I'm here in Israel for uh, work and then oh, cool. I'm going back to LA. Yeah. I was going to say, it looks yeah. a little dark for LA right now. <laughs> yes, it's Israel. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Well, what was it like growing up there? Um, it was, I mean, it was cool. It was kind of cool. No pressure in terms of like, uh, you know, I mean, I, I come from a very, very small town, so everybody knows everybody. And it's mm-hmm. like, uh, it's like a really special community. Um, and um, I was, you know, I was, I was like a, a very like good girl that, you know, uh, not getting into uh, troubles when I was little. Okay. <laughs> Not until but later to get in trouble. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, what about a little a, bit, yeah. What about a musical household? I, know, I, I did read you have some siblings. Is anyone else musical in your house? Are your parents musical at all? My sisters, uh, we're five brothers and sisters. And uh, my two sisters, my, my young sisters, um, I mean, they're not musicians or anything. But when we were young, uh, we used to just like sing and dance all day. And I'm the only one who took it uh, to the next level. And yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm the only one from my family. But it's in our hearts, you know. We mm-hmm. were born and raised into the music. All kinds of music, by the way. Um, it was like, uh, for me, it was like rock music. But also, I mean, when I was 14, I used to sing in front of the mirror with like a with like a deodorant as a mi- microphone. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, um, I kid you not. It was like every day after school. That's what I used to do. And I used to listen to Mariah and Whitney Houston. They taught me how to sing. But then when oh. I grew up, I mean, like, like 16, 17, I, I was listening to, you know, the grunge scene. Pearl Jam and Nirvana and everything, and the nineties. I'm still mm-hmm. stuck in the nineties, actually. Uh, yeah, so it's like it's a mixture of uh, a lot of things and the Middle Eastern, you know, vibe. Mm-hmm. I think you can hear it in um, my previous album. Yes. You can hear, yeah. Have you listened? Yeah, I've actually went through and listened to all your records, uh, starting with the really? first one. Yeah, so I'm, I was going to ask you some questions about that too, because the cha- your sound has changed quite a bit from that first album first album i mean no i'm 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 at peace with it Uh but um i was so young and i was so um i actually did what um the producer he he kind of told me to do i mean i was i was not even on my i didn't know what i wanted to do what i wanted to say in terms of like you know uh my musical uh I don't know I just I wanted to say something and I didn't know what it is so we did this album and I'm like I am not sure I like this album but I was so young so I'm like okay let's see what will happen and it was a big big success in Israel right but I didn't like it right yeah yeah I didn't like it so I took I took a turn like a Mm -hmm. really like as you can as you can hear here yeah and the next record quite yeah yeah. quite a different sound (laughs) well uh, (laughs) before we get to this album or these albums I don't know if you mind talking about them at all um but 
I want to I want to know uh, how did you originally get into music? I mean, you talked about having influences Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey, and then into the the grunge scene. But prior to that, like, what was the first instrument you learned? Were you always singing? Did you play piano? I always uh, singing was my my uh, kind of only instrument. Uh, and then actually, I started playing guitar thanks to uh, Jeff Buckley. Really? Yeah. Just hearing his records. Yeah. Hearing him, I mean, he actually he's responsible for my for my uh, like huge change in music. It was not a change; it was in me, but the courage to do what I wanted to do, like from you know from the bottom of my heart, kind of thing. And you know, in Israel, I mean, I was well known as whatever, um, and and everyone expected me to do something. But I did the exact opposite. Um, that's why I told you earlier that <laughs> I've become I've become a bad girl later, later on. But it, it was not really a bad girl. I just wanted to listen to my heart and do whatever the fuck I want to do. Sure. And and it took a, wow a lot. Actually, only now, like in the last year, I can say in Israel. I'm talking about the Israeli market. I can say mm-hmm. that they finally understand what I'm saying. Wow, really? So yeah. wait, you've done like five albums, right? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. A lot of patience. A sure, lot. I was going to say. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jeff was the, the one that taught me, um, actually taught me how to write and how to play. I mean, I, I started playing guitar when I was 25. It's, it's okay, late. late bloomer. Like bloomer, yeah, that's that's me. <laughs> well, did you have those other like how many records did you have out by the time you started playing guitar? Um, only two, I think. Okay, so the first two you didn't play guitar at this point yet. I started playing on the the second one, but it was like really I I don't think I can call it play. Like it was just like the bass stuff you know okay. only yeah it was very very uh basic i i literally actually started to play it was my um my fourth album it's it's an it's an hebrew album uh-huh. and then the fifth one was like totally and now it's like i'm, I'm like i'm yeah, there yeah. man i'm sure. like there yeah yeah finally. okay well i was just <laughs> curious because um that second record is the the one that we were saying earlier is the one that you kind of made a 180 on and that's a really guitar driven record so i wasn't sure yeah. if that was around the same time that you started to learn but i uh, started to learn that okay. around that time but i don't think i was good enough to record my playing in an album that's gonna stay forever and i don't want to embarrass myself you know yeah yeah well you knew I what mean, you wanted it to sound like exactly exactly gotcha. yeah 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 okay because you I have, actually but... did no go ahead no no no. you go ahead the second album um i did it with a band called uh rock four they're they're like the most amazing musicians um in israel and uh oh, worldwide I think, yeah so i think i, I looked just, them up I... they have like puppets is that the one i saw no or is that different what is that's the puppet a different one? <laughs> okay, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> the puppet, the puppet there, yeah, it's it's a thing here in Israel. Uh, the puppet, the name of the, the puppet is Red Orbach. He's oh, that's my what friend. it is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sorry. He's a okay. very good friend of mine. Um, He's got a cool record. I listened to that one too. On I was listening to that on Spotify as well. Yeah, yeah. What did you listen to? Tell me. What did you, uh, okay, not what you, what did you like the most? As far as your album music? Went? Yeah. Um, I liked the first record you did in English, which I think was the third album. I mean, I like right. the newest one too, yeah, but yeah, yeah. the third one to me. Sympathetic nervous system. Yes. Yes. It, yeah. it, had, a, it had a cool, like, just like a totally like, different, like indie sound to it that I, I really connected with. And I really yes. like the first, I mean, the, the other records you do, the first two ones that were in Hebrew, like, I mean, I couldn't understand what you're saying, but because I don't speak the language, but the songs and the melodies are cool and the riffs and, and the pieces to it. But I feel like this, that, that third one, when I got to that one and I could understand the words and then, yes. and, and how the songs kind of came together that way. But 
the sound of the record too even if i didn't understand the lyrics i really like that third record yes i'm so happy and the to new say one that. and the new one I mean, the newest <laughs> one that you put out uh pair what's it called uh parachute, paper parachute paper, paper, yeah paper parachute i like that record i mean all your stuff is cool for sure thank you and even the new one the new the newest song that you just released as well i like that one a lot too thank you who is us I, yeah yeah, 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 but I like that third. I think that third album. Uh, what's it called? I I'd have to look at sympathetic it. nervous system. Yeah, but what's the song? I think it's like the fourth oh, song. It's like it's like third? IMC or something. Oh, I see oh, you. I see you. I see you. That one's good. I, <laughs> good I mean, I like man, you you did your one. homework, Adam. I'm so oh, impressed. Of course, wow. I'm a fan. I dig it. <laughs> good. I'm so happy. Thank yeah. you. Well, real quick, so you, this record, the first record you put out, I mean, from what I read, it, you obviously did really well. And then you, when you change your sound, that kind of changed stuff for you as far as your fan base went. Uh, that changed right? everything. Yeah, it changed everything. But before yeah. you wrote that second record and going into that first record, were you, because you've done a lot of other stuff in the entertainment industry as far as like acting in, in that world. Was that something that kind of went with the music or were, were you doing the music thing? You do like how do you get into doing that first record in like the way it was presented in sounds and it does a, really well and like how did that kind of happen first? Um, it's just like it happened, you know. I mean, with the 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 one that I've worked with, um, he's actually he was um, my favorite musician when I was a teenage. Um, oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah, it was like in the rock scene, um, he was like really cool. And I got the chance to work with him. And I was so like, I was so thankful. And, um, and he's a really, really, um, um, he's like super talented guy. Um, we didn't always agree about stuff, <laughs> I might say. Um, but um I just let it happen, you know, and then the most thing, like the most important thing for me uh, was always music. I, I used mm -hmm. to play also. I am, I am like playing, uh, you know, but only in like, because, because the music is so important to me and I want to invest everything in my music and concerts and, you know, it's like, it's a whole thing. So the project that I'm picking for acting, um, it's like, very, I'm very, very picky. Right. It has to be something that is like, that I feel like I can tell the story of the character. Mm -hmm. um, actually, the last thing I was playing in, it was uh, Netflix. Um, I think it's still there. Uh, and it won on Cannes uh, series. It won the, the, it won the first place, like the, the best uh, series. I, I was like, whoa. That's cool. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. We were in shock, like totally. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I hear a baby. It's okay. I've got but two it's kids. It's not my own. baby. Yeah, oh, me it's too. Not your baby. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your baby crying. It's not my baby. It's you know. Do you get that? That you hear baby cry? No, it's not my baby. And then you you <laughs> you know if it's yours you, or not. And you're absolutely sure, like you're losing it. Right. No, it's not mine. Oh my god. Okay. Well, it's I not heard mine. it too. So okay. you're not losing it. I promise. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, you have two kids. Oh my god. Uh huh. I do. How old are you? I'm uh, 37. 37. Oh, you're yeah, almost my age. But uh, wow, young. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny. Um, yeah. Yeah, I because have... men, you know, I mean our age i mean i'm a woman and it's you know it's different because because our time is like you running out too. you don't you don't look like you're my age to be honest <laughs> no i'm serious <laughs> <laughs> there's some people i've run into like I, i'm so bad with that though i'm i'm really bad with telling like guessing how, yeah. guessing ages like i'm yeah, always yeah. overshooting like a lot just based on my oh, own shit. yeah oh, not shit. on you though i would have undershot you i would have been like yeah she's got to be like 26 27 no 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 i'm really? serious and if i see somebody like yeah that's i'm like that person's got to be 50 48 49 and my wife's like that person's probably your age if not oh maybe God. like oh 35 God. and i'm like ooh. my <laughs> advice don't ever 
don't ever don't. say what you think about especially I women, don't. by the way I, oh no 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 i never i never <laughs> shoot that shot because i know i'm gonna miss and i'm gonna be way <laughs> yes. off so yeah. it's like saying to a, a woman that how how like what month are you and she's yeah. not pregnant yeah. you know it's the oh. same thing it's like it's a disaster <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you don't oh, do no, that no, no. i would never go there for sure for <laughs> sure but i know i've met people that i'm like oh this guy this person's got to be at least 10 years older than me and then i'm like oh they're like 34 like wait what <laughs> wow wow no seriously i was like i was i was in shock you have two kids you you like like 28 oh i swear you. to god yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. i'm like okay that's good. Uh, That's a good well, thing. It, it might be the the setting on my my Zoom camera. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate that. No, but uh, yeah. So I do have two kids, and I'm glad that it's not your child crying, so you wouldn't have yeah, to me just too. Go jump up and because uh, I know it's. I don't. What time is it there? I'm just curious now. Yeah, now it's like uh, almost nine p.m. Okay. Yeah. So it, that is late. So, I, but I don't want to keep you. I thought it was at least it's not. No, like it's midnight. okay. Okay. It's, no, it's cool. not. <laughs> All right. Um. Well. Okay. So. Real quick, back to the kind of the acting thing. Did the acting thing come after you had put out that first record or were you always doing that kind no, of? No, it was in, like, in, it was, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was in between. Um, I actually, I, I first did the, the, um, the first series I was playing at and then I did the album, the first one. And then I took a long break from like acting. I, mm -hmm. I wasn't doing it at all. I didn't do much actually as an actress because I was I was putting all my energy in the music. Got it. Um, yeah, and and the latest I did was the, that series that I told you about. It's called When Heroes Fly. It was um, probably so what year are in. we now? We're in twenty twenty two, right? Yeah, yeah, we are. I think. Okay, so it was uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was twenty. It was two thousand seventeen. It was a long time ago. Oh, and okay. ever I'm since I never, up. yeah, I'm just, I'm, I was in LA, I was playing my, my shit and, um, yeah, we're, we're about to release the new album. So every piece of my energy is like going towards this one. Sure. Sure. No, that makes yeah. total sense. Okay. Well, okay. So you finally get to work with this, um, this producer, this, this, this artist you looked up to, and then your record, you just. You felt, did you feel like when you're working with this person that you kind of had to take their lead as far as like, were you worried or nervous to like kind of voice your own opinion towards what they were telling you? Because it sounds like when you finished the record, like sure you're proud of it and it did awesome, but it wasn't really what you were trying to, to say, right? Yeah, I mean, I wanted to say so many things, but I was so young. I was 19. Like, okay, I was, yeah. yeah, I was very, very young. So now I know it was, um, I just trusted him and I mean, he's a great dude, but, um, I, after, uh, a lot of years, I just felt I wanted to do something else, like something different. Uh, that sounds kind of like my second and my third one, but, um, I believe that everything, you know, has a really like pure solid reason for it to happen. So I believe that I needed to go through this part so I can okay. do the other stuff. Um, there are songs that I like in this album, but they are songs that I don't actually. Okay. Yeah, but well, it's I, okay. No, it's a good album. It's just not the sound that you sound like now, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. I sound very young. I sound very childish. I mean, it's not a bad thing, but I, I don't was think it's. So I young. think. I mean, well, again, I I don't understand the lyrics, but but to me, yeah. when I hear it, it's just a lot more like bright and like poppy. Exactly. And, yeah. Exactly. And, and so exactly. now it's more of like a, you know, indie heavier sounds to heavier your voice. Sound. Your, your voice is definitely has that like really cool like like grasp like in in certain in songs which you don't really hear in that first record exactly that's what i'm saying everything was so high i mean the the keys were so high and also my voice was not like 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 it is right now i mean yeah you know i grew up and it changed and it and it become thicker and wider and then it was like high and like like sweet and like very very right and i i told the technician I told him, listen, I don't like the way I sound here. Please, let's just record it. Late. Let's do something else. Um, they didn't listen to me, but it's okay. 
yeah i'm at peace with it right now and <laughs> that's why i'm taking the lead in everything that i do like mm -hmm. never no one can ever tell me what to do no you don't want to mess with me you really don't <laughs> I, love <that>. I swear <laughs> well, i think what, you can hear it in the songs as well oh yeah no definitely there's yeah. definitely some attitude in the songs which is cool i dig it yeah well i'm sick of i mean i don't want to you know dig up the the the, the drama and trauma of that record like <laughs> drama from, and trauma <laughs> but going from that album and then being like you know that really wasn't what i wanted to do and i'm gonna do this record and then like from what i read like you know getting and lose everything yeah people are just not responsive to it because they were probably expecting the exact same thing you had done before exactly so yeah. what was that like were you like did i make a mistake or was no. it i don't really care because i'm doing what i want to do Deal exactly with it? i was so i was so happy i was so happy i didn't care about the outcome because i was so i felt like i was in my element and uh -huh. i mean i sold like i don't know like almost nothing from the second album. And I was so happy. I was, I was happy because that's what I wanted to do. And I knew that time that it's going to take me a lot, like a lot of patience and, and a lot of work for me to, to, to just try to say something that I really believe in. And um, I knew I have a long way. And I told mm -hmm. you that only this year, no, last year, I finally, I feel like I've finally, okay, now I can say that I'm, I'm succeeding because it took me a lot of years. It took me almost like 15 years. To get yeah, that respect but, back, you feel like in, in, yeah, in, in yeah. Israel? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, other people will tell you that I'm too, um, that I'm too hard on myself. Right. Which can be true sometimes, but I don't care. I mean, most, I, most my, creatives are. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, I have high expectations for myself. And that's why mm -hmm. I demand from the others and from people that work with me. But um, I have like very, very high standards. And, and now I can say that I'm I'm cool. OK, mm -hmm. it's happening. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Well, from that second album, that the one that kind of shifted for you, and then into the third record, you decided to put your third album out in English. What was the reasoning behind that? That was my dream. Oh, that it was, was okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Did you finally feel English, confident? Uh, yeah, to write in English, or like I'm sure yeah. you could speak English, but yeah, it, yeah. it was just different to maybe. Well, yeah, I guess you tell me what was the difference between going like translating it or like what was no, hard I was for you? Like, I was I was writing in English because when I was when I was a child, I had like a lot of notebooks that I used to write lyrics uh, of the people that I love to listen to. So I used to like I had like this radio tape in my room and I used to like uh, to put the play and then rewind to, just for me to write the lyrics so I can sing with them. And this oh, is wow. how I learned English and at school, of course. But I, mm -hmm. I, I had this dream that I'm like moving to New York and I'm like, I'm doing my music and I sing what I want to sing in English. And yeah, I still, I mean, I'm living the dream right now, <laughs> actually, which is, which is very, um, you know, it's not easy to live right. your, your dream. We have two kids, uh, two daughters, and we're like back and forth to Israel and LA. <sighs> it's fucking, yeah, it's insane. Yeah. It's I insane. Could, could, flying with kids alone is a nightmare. Yeah. I can't imagine doing it on a regular basis. <laughs> oh my God. It's on a regular basis. And it's like, we're oh like moving from house to house. Like every, it's, it's, it's really, it, it takes a lot, but, um, I think, uh, I mean, that's what I want to do. That's, I, I mean, still, I don't know. Mm -hmm. if, if you talk to me one year from now, I have no idea because I'm fucking like, this is insane. Yeah, you're like, I'm never I don't know for how long. Kids again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, it's not, it's not easy. It's not no, easy at all. Yeah. Not at all. Yeah. It's and like, to have yeah. like two careers, like, you know, here and in and, and, uh, the U.S. market, and it's and there I'm like I'm I'm starting all over again. 
you know yeah because so in, in israel you had a you have a fan base and people know you and they see know your face and i mean from not only from music but from tv and everything else you've done which yeah, is probably different yeah. when you're in la it's very different yeah. yeah but it but i'm cool with that that's why i moved there because i wanted to start over i wanted to feel what you know like normal artists feel you know, when they start something and they start, you know, going to shows and like, and, and have sh like small shows and then people like slowly are getting to know you because of your music and not because of something else, mm -hmm. which is for me was very, very important. Um, and that's what, what's, what's, uh, what's been happening uh, so far. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, I have a lot to give. That's what I think still. I mean, I hope so. <laughs> I, yeah, I no, definitely. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you put that third record out in English, had you been to the States or was that just uh, you just decided to put it out in English and you're still in Israel? And how did your fan base yeah, I wasn't, respond I was, to that? Actually, I had like I recorded this album uh, in Liverpool. I did it with Mike Crossy. He is a really, really super uh, talented producer. Okay. Um, I really wanted his sound. Uh, he's he's been working with uh, the Arctic Monkeys and a lot of bands mm -hmm. that I really really love. And we got to him and we went to his uh, studio for like a month. We I took my band with me, and uh, we were just recording for a month this album. And I'm so proud of this album. Really, the sound of this album is so powerful, and and I think that's probably my favorite album. My, the third one, my, yeah, the third the one, one that I, that's the one I really. I mean, the one that again, you love. That's yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Um, that's why when you said you love the third one, I was like, okay, he's one of us. That's cool. <laughs> um, You're like, I can deal with this guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can, I can, I can talk his language, and he understands my understands my my language, so it's cool. Awesome. Um, yeah. No, we're, I, we're yeah. No, I do. I love that record. I think it's such a cool album. And um, uh, so you. You were still then, you just went to Liverpool to, did you say Liverpool? Or, uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, said okay. Liverpool. Okay, I was just making yeah. sure. So you went there, recorded the record, and then just came back to, to Israel, to, to Israel to put it out and, and just play to put it. it out. Yeah, I put okay. it out, yeah, independently. Um, I had no label or like uh, nothing behind me. That's why I think this record wasn't like what I've expected from it to be. But a lot of people till this day, are talking to me about this album, especially now, because people are going back um, mm. to my music because of what I'm doing now. So it sounds to them, it sounds like, oh, wow, this is cool. OK, what has she been doing back then? And then people are starting to talk to me about sympathetic nervous system and the songs and like they demand that I sing like, uh, you know, uh, songs from this record, which is for me a big, I mean, big that's probably victory. awesome, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 a really big deal for me because I was fighting so hard. And now, I mean, I just let everything go and I like, okay, I'm just doing whatever I do. And you guys, if you want to join me, so join me. If you don't want to join me, so get the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Get yeah. out the way. Um, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't, I, it's, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a timeless album, which says a lot. And I mean, I don't think it matters anymore about when a certain album came out or not. I mean, you'll see exactly. songs that will come back around and be a new a hit or have this moment. Like uh, the first time I can remember recently enough that happening was with that band Empire of the Sun with they had that Walking on a Dream song, which yeah, yeah. was came out like, oh, wait, no one cared about it until like 2017 or something like that. It was like, yeah, yeah no yeah. one cared. And then it gets this Apple placement and it's like the biggest song in the world. It's and, amazing because, yeah. because music is timeless. That's what I've been trying to say. Music is timeless. And you can, I mean, even for me now, I listen to bands from the 60s, the 70s, you know, it's, it's like... It, that's what you love and, and music has no it's not getting old that's what i'm trying to say right and uh yeah it's always relevant when you dig the music mm -hmm. i completely yeah. agree and then with mm -hmm. with your fourth album you go back and write uh, your next one in hebrew again yes and was and 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 tell me about that like you didn't want to keep 
because then you had another English record, but that was the the following one. But so like between having the English record and the two previous ones in Hebrew, like did you what was the uh, thought process thought process on going back to record another record um, in Hebrew? Yeah, I mean Hebrew is always you know that's my first language, so I'm I'm forever gonna you know I'm gonna continue doing records in Hebrew. Um, that's the place I'm coming from, and I love of course this language, and I have a lot to say. Um, so yeah, I was like, uh, I was like, okay, now I want to do this. And actually when I was, in, uh, in Liverpool, I was writing my next album in Hebrew. Oh, is that right? Yeah. When I, while I was recording there, suddenly just the lyrics, there's just like, they started to just come to me in Hebrew. Um, it's, 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 it's a very, I mean, it has a dark kind of vibe this album the hebrew one mm -hmm. especially towards the end the the last song that i'm singing there i remember when i wrote it it was in in my hotel room in liverpool and um i was alone in my room and i took the guitar in in english it's um it's called at the end we're all gonna stay we're all gonna uh, be alone in the end like, we're all gonna yeah. be alone yeah like we're gonna stay on our own not in a good way it's really and i remember writing this song and uh there was this like drunk guy under the window and he was screaming and i was the first floor and when i recorded it to my phone you can hear that guy in my recordings like the, the when i recorded the sketch from this song you can hear like i'm singing da -da 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 -da. And you can hear him, wah, wah, he was screaming. And it was so beautiful, you know, because I was writing something so, so dark. Yeah. I don't know why, it just came to me. And then he's screaming outside. And uh, I wanted to, to leave it on the album, but um, I didn't. Oh, so I was gonna, was, yeah. I, yeah. I was going to say, is it there? I have to go back and re listen. No, no, it's okay, not there. Okay, took it out. It's not there. Yeah, but I remember it so clearly. That's um, so cool. Yeah, yeah. When I do love you start, fighting. Yeah. Uh, and then, so when, well, at what year do you move to LA then? Was it uh, after that record? Oh, yeah. It was hmm. after I recorded uh, Paper Parachute. I recorded oh, it you in did? Israel. Oh, you did. Okay, mm -hmm. so you wrote another record in English in Israel before you ended in up going to, the, in, going to the United exactly. States. Yeah, okay. and then we, we, went, we moved to the U.S. Uh, on 2016, and uh, we released it um, in the U.S. also, like, independently without uh, a record label. Obviously, we're just getting there. Uh -huh. um, yeah, we're doing everything by ourselves. This is crazy. That's so cool. This is crazy, yeah. Yeah. So how did you make the decision to then move to L.A.? Uh, that's something I've always been wanted to do. I mean, not L.A., New York, actually. Right. You were talking about New York it, earlier. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. New York was my dream. I, I, I think I still, I mean, I know I'm going to live there. I don't know when, but it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we decided the last minute to move to L.A. because our manager was like hey guys listen the music that you guys have been doing the scene is here it's not new york new york it's like kind of more electronic and jazzy and i'm like okay and then a month before we we uh left we changed our minds and we moved to la oh okay yeah yeah and we're there you know but again like it's like back and forth i can be here in israel for like six months and then go back to la and then starting all over again it's it's a thing because i'm working here mm -hmm. and i'm investing in my own uh you know albums and everything so i'm working and then i'm go, going back to build and then i'm going here to be on stage and you know it's like it's a circle um mm -hmm. So when you and come I'm, when you come back to Israel, you ha you probably play to bigger crowds and and you could probably oh yeah. be, be more yeah it's more lucrative for you to play there than in L.A. I would imagine. Yeah, but we just did the Troubadour in L.A., which oh, is amazing. for us that's was, such a yeah, cool venue. 
I mean, yeah, iconic, for us, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. For us, it was like a really like a milestone. Like, wow, okay, we got here, and it yeah. took us. It took us a while, and it was one of the best shows I've ever had in my life. That's awesome. Um, it was actually two days before I I got back here to Israel, and here I'm like I'm I'm having like almost every day a show. Um, it's big here. But, That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I like it, and um, I think my life are so full in good stuff, mm -hmm. um, which is also a thing that you know because I don't think we as human beings we stop, we just stop and say, "I love what I do, and I'm thankful for that." And I have so much, you know, we used to say, oh, I want this and I want this and I want this and this is not enough and this is not enough. And, um, you know, sometimes it's like worth just stop for a second and be grateful for what you already have. Mm -hmm. um, I've been working on the spiritual side for like years now. So that's why I'm so calm now when I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of yelling at me? <laughs> just <Yes>. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I did see that you got a chance and I love Steven Wilson. I not a lot of people oh. I don't think give the guy the no, respect him. that he just that he likely deserves. I mean, Porcupine Tree, when I heard uh the record with the gray face and the guy's opening his eyes. Oh and, yeah, and yeah, Cynthia, yeah. I think is what it's called. And then, uh th when I heard that album, I was like, this is like one of the coolest bands I've ever heard in my life. Because oh it's God, heavy. Steven yeah it's heavy and then his voice is just like beautiful and it has like yeah. these acoustic guitars that you're like oh that yeah, kind of yeah, came yeah, then yeah, it's like yeah. Dun, 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 and yeah it gets heavy i that's yeah that's a prog that yeah that's one of the my favorite bands yeah oh I really but steven they're a lot. so cool yeah blackest eyes that song is so awesome oh yeah oh yeah oh um, yeah I'm so how do you know steven that's yeah like, I've, i that's interviewed cool. him well i i used to be on the radio a long time i mean for a long time uh in mm -hmm. in california and san diego and in los or not los angeles but san francisco and it was like i don't know 20 oof, i don't know 2008 or 9 i interviewed oh, wow, him okay. he was on tour yeah. he op his band was opening up for coheed and cambria uh, in the united states and i was so blown away that they were like opening for because to me, they just sounded like this arena, like rock band. Wow! And wow. I, uh, I'm gonna you know, tell him. I'm gonna tell him you said that. That's I so cool. I love his songs. I mean, and, and I listened to that record, or I and I had a chance to interview him. I mean, he wouldn't have no clue who I am. I mean, this is like like I said, 2008 <laughs> or something. But it was so it was cool. Like for me ago. to talk to him, I was like, oh my gosh! Like this is Steve Wilson, <laughs> and like not a whole lot of people, I don't think, gave him the respect at the time. Of, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. But yeah. yeah, he's such a cool. And when I saw that, and I watched a couple of YouTube videos of you performing with him. And I was like, oh my gosh, like this is so awesome. Like, how did yeah, that relationship was with form? Him. Um, that was actually through the producer that I've told you about, the first one. Oh, okay. Wow. From my first album. Yeah. They have a band together. Maybe you know them. Uh, the band called Blackfield. No, I don't. I need to look them up. Yeah. Because I just a... knew that he, uh, Stephen Wilson was he producer was like a big part of Opeth, right? He was yeah, a bit, yeah. yeah. And Opeth is uh, it sounds nothing like Porcupine Tree. And a friend of mine yeah, yeah, was way different. in way into Opeth, and I'm like, yeah, this is cool, but it's not really my vibe. And then I heard he's like, well, you should check out his, you know, the guy that does all this. This band's called Porcupine Tree, and I was like, oh my god, like and then I was just hooked. I'm like, these guys are insane. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's very, very talented. Stephen and I were. Uh, I, I used to to have um, I toured with him as a part of the band and oh, wow. then yeah actually I'm going to tell you a secret it is a secret because no one knows about it but the next album of uh, Steven he's going to take one of my songs that I wrote and we're going to do it as a duet and it's going to be released next year and I'm so excited. Oh, my God. This is like for me, it's like, wow, you know, for wow. him to take what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my songs. And he's like, oh, my God, hon, this is amazing. I have to. It's going to be a single. I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? Yes. 
Yes. Oh wow! Is it uh, a a song that was in English or a song that he that yeah, was yeah. in Hebrew that he that you guys in translate? English. Oh no! Wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's in only English. a handful I can look through. I could figure out. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> figure out which one it is. That's so awesome. That's so yeah, cool. Yeah, that's very awesome, actually. Yeah. Wow. That's so exciting. Yeah. Well, I cannot wait yeah. to hear that because, like I said, I I'm a huge fan of his and yours. So that's beautiful. Thank um, you. Very cool. Well, talk to me Thank about this you. new record. So when did you start this album? And uh, like, where does COVID fall into the album? Is it something you're working on because of the pandemic? Or tell me where, where uh, that This lies. album had been through so much because we have been working. When I say we, I'm talking about my husband and myself. He's a producer of uh, my oh, uh, cool. last albums. Yeah. Uh, he's a guitar player. He's a producer. He's the father of my daughters. He's so cool. <laughs> He's a great guy. <laughs> um, Did yeah, you we, have a big celebration with him yesterday? I guess I should ask that. Yesterday? What yeah, was yesterday? Father's Day was yesterday. Oh, right. We don't. <laughs> You're yeah, like, no. I mean, no. It's not a big here, thing in Israel? No, at all. Uh, it's just a Hallmark holiday here in the States. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Only in just the in States. The, we just in made Israel, that up. For, okay. No, it's it's like <laughs> you, you know what? Oh my god, I feel so bad now. Maybe you I shouldn't. Have I shouldn't something. have brought that up. I, I shouldn't have brought that up. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Maybe I'll make it. I'll I'll make it. I'll, I'll make it up for him. I'm gonna do something tomorrow. Okay, there <laughs> <I think>. you go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, no. Just go ahead. Sorry. Um, uh, so tell me about this new record. Yeah, so we've been working on it for five years now. That's why I'm so excited as it's finally uh, coming out because I had like a bunch of songs and then we recorded them and then we decided to do uh, like a whole different songs. Like I, I was writing and writing and writing and then we decided to go um, on, on a different kind of vibe for this album. I mean, it had like a lot of rock in it you know all the 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 bands that i love it's like uh one big happy family of everyone mm -hmm. um but not on a you know i mean we're not trying to sound like anyone else we're just trying to to search and find my own voice and my own sound and i think we did it that's why we're ready to uh release this album this album now and who is us is one of the my favorite songs actually and have you seen the video yeah i did i i yeah. saw it it's cool so this, very cool the, video the, the kid in the video it's she's my daughter it's my oldest really one. yeah wow yeah that's was that difficult to like <laughs> do that i mean like to, to yes um <laughs> kind of direct actually yeah, yeah, yeah. It was difficult because I was trying to keep her safe all the time. And I was and I saw she's a natural and that was I think the most scary thing to see. That okay. she's actually she's a natural. Okay. That's scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've heard that before yeah. with other people that, that are uh, you know in the public eye. They're like, Oh yeah, and then like because they don't really want their children to to, to follow them because it's like such a hard path, right? I mean, it's a and hard then they'll path. be like, and then like then they're actually good at it, and it's like, Ugh, <laughs> you know. And then there's nothing you can do. You can only like hold their hands and make sure they're safe and let them do whatever they want to do. Yeah. Uh, Where did yeah. you film that? Because you're like in the middle of a, like you're on this plateau, but it's like in the middle of these mountain ranges, right? Like you're it's, in like it's L.A. Oh, that is in LA? No way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. I didn't know. I'm from Southern California. I never would have guessed it's in LA. Yeah, this is so funny because a lot of people are like really in awe of this, this, this spot because, I mean, for me, it was, it was a massive thing because I'm from Israel and I know how everything looks like. I mean, in Israel, you can also find uh, these kind of, of uh, you know, places and the view and everything is very very beautiful and wide open but um yeah that was a very special place um right next to uh the mountain the calabasas that's the oh, yeah. area that we were yeah okay. we were driving there and then the video yeah it was kind of it was i didn't enjoy actually filming this video i was so 
I was in so many places and I wanted it to be perfect. Um, yeah, so I ne I needed to talk to the director every two seconds and like make sure everything is happening and then to also to play something, you know, uh, to be in the video. I mean, for me, it was like hard, but uh -huh. the video, I mean, is, is cool. It's really yeah. cool. It turned out really cool. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Like, I would, like I said, I would have never guessed that that's anywhere in L.A. I figured that you're like, oh, yeah, we shot that here in Israel or something. No, no, it's L.A. Yeah, wow. that's funny. That <laughs> yes. is cool. Very cool. Yeah. And so do you have like a release date on the album or because you you just released that uh, song and video, what, like a week ago or something like last yeah, week? Yeah, a week ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Um, the album is going to be released uh, beginning of next year. Cool. Well, yes. I cannot wait. And what about shows? Are you doing? I mean, obviously, you're playing a lot of shows. I'm playing a lot Israel, of shows here in Israel. Yeah. But are I'm going to play any shows another. Out? Yeah, I'm going to play another Troubadour. I think it's going to be probably in October cool um if you're around well unfortunately you're... i moved i moved uh to nashville so Ooh. i'm so within the past year and a few months my family moved from southern california to nashville but got it you should come play nashville i want to play in nashville <laughs> oh my god i do want to come there for real you should. i think we will yeah 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 we're gonna do it for for sure um I want to, I want to be there. I want to experience everything. It's cool. I think it's definitely yeah, yeah. cool. We're going to, we're going to come songwriters there. there. A lot of oh, songwriters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> well, I, I know. appreciate your time today. Thank you so much for doing this. Like this has been Thank so great. Thank you, Adam. It was yes. so good talking to you, man. This has been awesome. Um, I do have one last question. I want to know if you have any advice for aspiring artists. Yes, I do. I have I have too many. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, I think the first thing I'm going to say probably is just don't listen to anyone else. Listen to yourself. And um, but only if you're willing to work hard and to uh to stay loyal to yourself and what and loyal to whatever you want to say work hard to do it and never give up just never give up no matter what because it's going to be hard Bring me the best world, yeah.